All right, guys, it's your girl, Sydney Renee, and welcome right back to the Unwind Rewind, where I sit back and recap some of my favorite shows, which I'm sure some of you guys' favorite shows as well. And with that being said, let's get into today's show, which is Snowfall Season 5, Episode 2, because they had two episodes in one night. So I'm back to back with it, okay? Now, if you haven't caught up on the latest episode of Snowfall, click add to this video because I'm going to spill the tea. Now, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below, and let's uh, get into the video. Now, let's get right into it with my baby daddy, Franklin, saying, because I'm still a little mad at him right now because he's sitting at home making plans with this woman that he impregnated. He giving her a piece of his business, and he making trust funds, and all this, that, and the third for her and the baby, and I'm just not feeling it because... I've been riding with you for five seasons because I'm going to ride out the season with you. But I've been with you for five seasons, Franklin, and this is how you repay me. Like, I am legit hurt right now. A baby, a whole baby, a kid. Child. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so Franklin trying to buy this land so he can build, um, build a building. So he can build a building. <laughs> So he can build a building because he is trying to create generational wealth. And he wants Jerome and Louie to invest $10 million of their hard-earned money into this project. And they're like, okay, we're going to look into it. They're going to get their money back in three years if the business is open and a success and all of that. And so they got to think about it, which is $10 million. Yeah, I got to think about that. And he trying to get Leon to invest. And Leon, like, I'm not putting my money into nothing that them white folks ain't going to even want me to walk into. And I was like, I feel you, bro. Power to the people. Now, y'all remember I told y'all um, that Wanda, Leon X, was living in Franklin Mama house and whatever. Because he helping her out. Now, she worked at this phone sex place. And she is not good at this job. I mean, that's like one of the easiest jobs in the world. Like you sitting on the phone and you talking about sex all day. Like, girl, how could you not do this? She sucked at the job and she ended up quitting. And now she can't find a job because y'all know she used to be on that book of sugar. So don't nobody want to hire her. Child, why she going to ask Leon for a job? Now, let's wait. Sis, ain't that how you got on that book of sugar in the first place? Now, Wanda looks good she looks healthy she looks happy sis glowing because last season baby you was a little mm, you girl you look good you look blessed let's keep it that way stay your ass away from the book of sugar and leon was like girl no that's tempting we're not doing that <laughs> again uh we already tried that not happening and she had the nurse to be mad Girl, sit your stupid ass down. You better go to your 12-step program, the fuck. Now, let's get into Reed because Reed is genuinely pissing me off already. And it is too early for this, okay? And Reed trying to get back in the game. Y'all know he had to dip after he killed Irene because the CIA was going to be exposed by Franklin Daddy. So, he trying to get back in and he trying to get back to L.A. And he going to go back to L.A. because... He know all the right things to say. All the right buttons to press. He gonna work that mouth, child. Pause. But he know all the right things to say. And in the last episode, he had went to the dude Grady House, his replacement, and was dressed up as a utility worker to, like, scope out the place and whatever. And, child, he been watching Franklin and him. He been keeping tabs. So, he back in L.A. and he gonna meet up with Gustavo. Y'all remember Gustavo, the wrestler dude, turned distributor? Mm -hmm. He met up with him like, are you still my friend? Do you still have my back? Because he want Grady out. And Gustavo like, yeah, I still got you, bro. You know, I like I like Grady, but you cool. And so, the CIA dude asked him, like, do you think Franklin gonna still work with you after what you did to his daddy? And I'm like, well, what the fuck did he do to his daddy? Because we still don't know what he did to his daddy. That has yet to be seen or heard. So, I'm trying to figure out, what are you talking about? Can we get a flashback? Can we get something? Because we don't know. How you know what we don't know? We want to know. Anyway. Anyway. Reed pulled up on um on the dude Grady at his house and told him, like, you out, I'm in. You don't know what you're doing. You an addict. 
you sleeping with Franklin people, the, the one of his drivers, he's sleeping with one of Franklin drivers and shit. You're partying and you're bullshitting and you out. And the dude Greg like, boy, you ain't no better. And he, you got childhood trauma. And this, boy, what the fuck that got to do with anything? So Reed put him out the house. Like, you're going to have to get up out this house. You keep the cars, but you got to go and whatever. Right? And the next thing you know, Grady in a hotel room. And I don't know what Reed did to him, but he killed him. He killed him. He killed him. Next thing you know, he was having a heart attack, a stroke, whatever he was doing. And he just... He died in the hotel room. And then Reed, little snake ass, came out and was like, I want you to know I didn't do this because you insulted me. I did this because you bad at your job. Mm. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. So now he pop up on our baby daddy. Well, my baby daddy because he ain't child baby daddy. When I say our, I mean me and the chick that he got pregnant. So, he popped up on my baby daddy. And Franklin, like, oh, he's shocked to see him. But he acting like everything good. Like, you know, what's up? I ain't seen you in a minute. Blah, blah, blah. Right? Mm. He mad at Franklin because he like, why you working with Grady? You uh, think he your friend? And you doing real estate with him? You doing business with him? And he not your friend. He using you. And he was this. And he was that. And Franklin like. Why you keep referring to him in the past tense? Because now he realized like. Oh shit. Grady dead. Child. Mm -mm -mm. So he like. We need to get back to work. And Franklin like. Okay let me know when. And Franklin got some up his sleeve. Because Franklin was just being a little too agreeing. He was just trying to get read the fuck on so he can come up with his plan because i'm telling you now reed is acting very cocky very arrogant like he that dude like he gonna say he the one who made franklin rich and this that and the third and blah 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 and franklin told him he was like you know it's your world i just sell dope in it <laughs> child i'm telling you Reed might not make it out of season five. And if he didn't, I would not be mad at that. And so Franklin was like, all right, Reed, I'll see you later. And he going to tell our baby daddy. Um, it's Teddy now. Boy, get your stupid ass out of here. We do not read, nigga. That's what we calling you, Reed. The fuck? That's what we met you as, and that's what we going to call you, Reed. Anyway, y'all, that was that on that. <laughs> I will be back next week for another recap of episode three. Um, then they get out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your girl, Cindy Renee. I will see y'all in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.